Hello again and welcome back to VHB Engines. Stop making fun of my intro, you cocksucking fat faggot Anthony. Anyway, this is going to be a continuation of the Y7 assembly, part two. Two, but this is actually probably going to be the finale because I don't see me staying here for more than an hour or two just to bolt the bottom half of the girdle on and or bolt the girdle on and fucking put the head on. I mean, I guess that's that's gonna be the quickest part, just take me a few minutes. All right, uh, yeah, so I got the general gunk off this fucking piece of shit and. Still a little black from carbon and sludge buildup, but clean enough for where it's gonna work. Same thing with the fucking pistons. Don't judge me, assholes. Uh, all right, so first little segment done, and I'll get back on here again when fucking girls bolted down. All right, Mr. Ariel. Yeah, um, it looks like we're gonna take that fucking trip to Kindle tomorrow after all, because. You got a fucking issue. Uh, both of these fucking crank pulleys are stuck on these goddamn blocks. And uh, and this other piece of shit over here, right over there, that one has some fucking head bolts that are rounded off. So that fucking $60 hassle over there is going to cause me a fuck ton of labor. And I'm just praying to Christ that it actually has a good crank in it. It's spinning pretty good, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to... Uh, anyway, on the upside, at least, um, this thing has ERP head studs. I mean, relatively useless. I'm, I don't think I'm going to ever try and push a fucking B18 past 400, but I mean, it's nice. Maybe. Maybe one day. Maybe. All right. This is, this is video. Oh, you I got a higher megapixel. <laughs> you see these motherfuckers over here trying my motherfucking video fucking equipment over here? My fucking Galaxy Grand Prime? Okay, anyway. Okay, yeah. I see last time that I shook up the camera last time. I'm trying to be gentle here so I don't shake it up. I don't know if you can see. Mm. Ah, shake it still. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's been. Crank it, bro. Like, not, not like for your whole fucking body. You just work it. Ratchet it. It's a ratchet. <laughs> you going fast? Uh huh. Here, bro. Let me see. It's just ratchet it. There you go. There you go. It's dark. Can't see much. But anyway, it's in there. We're good. At this point, we're just gonna, or I'm just gonna fucking clean up. A little bit here. I'm gonna put the fucking pickup tube and oil pump. Put the oil pan on, and then we can take this off and put the head on. And that's it's gonna be a fucking wrap. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, that's that's fucking Anthony. That's that's the guy that I was I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Anyway, back in a little bit. Okay, so looks like I lied earlier. This isn't gonna be a part two slash finale for the build. Uh, it's going to be a to be continued again. Although tomorrow for sure it will be done. Uh, what happened was uh, I just, um, I have the wrong oil pan here for this. For the, Well, I have an oil pan I can use, but a gasket that won't match it. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to bring one of the oil pans I have at the house. And uh, then I'll put that on there. Once uh, Right now all I got to do is put the oil pan on and the head. And it's a complete engine. Uh, but on a side healthy note, there's a good thing that happened is... And the two layabouts over here got my fucking GSR fucking apart and there was some amazing shit that happened inside here well first off you know the guy who built it well I don't know what the fuck he did but he did some horrible shit but it was a good thing he did horrible shit because it blew up like really early into his little build and uh the block is still pretty clean inside. Not only is the fucking block clean, but despite that this 
and I'll see if you can see. The, yeah, you can see that the twisted fucking rod. The fucking crankshaft actually came out uh, pretty clean. So far, it doesn't have any kinds of signs of damage. I'm gonna check it out later, but I'm pretty confident I give it a clean bill of health. So some shitty things tonight, but some good things tonight. Discovered some ARPs in the LS. Got a GSR crank. Had a pretty clean block out of it. Single cam's almost ready. So I'd say it's a pretty good night overall. And yes, we had we had black people behind the white people. And the, this black guy had a really funny story of the police of some reverse racism. Funny story for another time. Uh, anyway, same as usual. Thanks for watching. You can uh, follow me on Instagram and check out the links to the Facebook at the bottom of the page. And if you like the fucking video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for some more. Peace.